Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. So guys, it is Sunday the 21st, I believe. I know it's Sunday. I believe it's the 21st. And I don't know what to do, guys. The last couple of days, I'm not sure what's going on with me. <laughs> I feel like I've lost my mojo, although I don't understand why because, you know, I have uh, quite a few projects that... Uh, I want to do that I'm excited about doing. I just, I don't know. I really can't explain it. I have no idea what's going on. But so I thought I would just come on and just show you some digitals I had printed out and uh, some of these Polaroids. I'm absolutely in love with these Polaroids that people have these days and, you know, a couple other things I did and was messing around with. But I don't know. I need to get myself together. I am off tomorrow, but. I don't know guys it's really hard to explain so these Polaroids here um, so I do have one set that is from by Boho Love and these are um, digital frame vintage photographs and photograph frames vintage sepia um, it's a couple of different ones and these right here I did get these little words too um, so you know they're just a little um, yeah polaroids like this and i thought that was super pretty it's a little um sachet i think is what you call that clutch clutch not sachet what's a sachet i have no idea it's got little roses on it real cute and all i did with this was i did distress around the edges uh and i'll show you a digital of these words real quick so i found that uh light blue color that i thought would look really good with that and then this one guys i actually took this tool right here if you saw my um or one of mine recently a little while back sometime i have no idea when anyway um thrifty thursday i had gotten some stuff a lot of stamps from a facebook market hall and it was close to my heart which i'd never heard of the company but this is the little distress tool thing so it's got a little blade in there. It's kind of like the Tim Holtz one. I've actually got it hanging up there. Um, but this one I have out. So this one has actually two, four, six, eight different ones. I don't know if they're all the same or what it is. I really don't know that much about it. But I just used it to like um, distress the edges. So you just go down it like that. And I have gotten to where I do it pretty hard. Um, but it really just scuffs up those edges. Uh, and I really like that look on these Polaroids. And then, um, and I don't care that I bend it. Because like I said, I like that, you know, scruff, scruffed up look. Something that's antique is going to be, you know, nine times out of ten bent or scuffed up. Or, you know, something like that. So yeah, I just got in here and just scuffed it um, really good on this one. And then did the stress around it. And I think it just gives it a whole nother whole nother look i guess we can go ahead and then i got hope in the pink um from that digital so let me what am i looking for i forgot to fill my art glitter glue too so let's see if we can get some out and we'll just go ahead and get these two well shucks y'all see that i don't know what's wrong with me these days get that pop down real quick preferably the right way up but I just thought those would be cute on there. And then, now that one I didn't scuff. I just wanted to show you guys the difference in the two. And I think you can really see um, the difference in those two. I like the um, one that's scuffed up better. I do believe. And there's Dream on that one. But, I mean, I still like them both. Don't get me wrong. And then this one, this is like a book and it's a key, or it's two books and it's a key. And I put hope on that one. And this is a couple of a blue and a gray book with some pink roses on the top. Really cute there. Um, and then this looks like a, what is that, maybe a, um, oh crap, I don't know. And then a book and some flowers a book and another little thing super cute and then these flowers here and then these i have already took and scuffed them up and then uh look at that it's just got you know wooden clothes pins here and looks like maybe some sorry silk and stuff really cute pictures um there so that's those well let's put the lid back on the 
glue bottle that needs to be filled. Um, and then these right here actually came from the old design shop. This is books, pictures, shabby photos, uh, aged and worn. Um, and look at that. It looks like a wooden candle with hearts on the side. And then these wings. And I got some more of hers I'll show you in just a minute. I only cut out a few. Look at how cute those are. I think those are really cute. Um, so those will be fun um, to play with. And the digitals that I got. Um, this first set is actually from Artie Mays. And this is her photo style portraits. And I just thought they were super cute. And I just printed these out on two really cheap 20 pound Walmart copy paper. Because I can always back them with the mountain of book pages that I have over here. Um, but yeah, it's just so cute. She's one of my favorite girls. Look at her with the rabbit. But yeah, super pretty pictures. And I think it's like um, 10 pages, I believe. So yeah, these are really cute. And this is Artie Mae's Random Polaroids. These are really small ones. She put up here great for use in clusters. And they really would be. But yeah, these will be fun. Looks like she's got her some fish. I guess that's a girl. And I like this girl too. Yep, really pretty. And again, that is Artie Mays. So we have that to play with. And then this right here is Tracy Lee Croft's uh, Junk Journal Wallpaper. It's blue and pink. So the first one is the pink set. Um in her shop and I think these are really pretty not sure how well you can see the pink but but yeah I saw these and just absolutely fell in love with these so again I got the um, pink one and the blue set but these would be good in collage or really just about anything my printer messed up on this one so I reprinted but we could still use that for collage. And then this is the blue set. Really, really pretty. Love this one. This looks like it's a really light blue, but it's got those green tones in there I really like. So that's that. And again, this is... Tracy Lee Crofts uh, Journal Wallpaper Blue and Pink Set. And then this one right here is actually Chapter 1 Washi Set 2. This is the U.S. letter size. So if you go over there, just, you know, pay attention to this. And this is her Washi Set 2. And I actually printed this on the um, full sheet label paper. So this is like stickers. Um, and these are just her washi washi tapes. I thought these would be fun to play with. And I did end up going back, guys. I started right here printing two copies. And I think it was the last one I started printing. So I went back on the uh, first ones I had printed and just printed another copy. Like that was the first page I showed you. But I thought these would be really fun as well. Um, now here are the words and this was also from um, by Boho Love um, so we got the two that I cut out then you got believe, shine, laugh beautiful notes, to do start somewhere, journal, travel imagine, me time all kinds of cute, one, cute ones and these are the smaller ones that you get leave a little sunshine everywhere you go good vibes only and then these are the bigger ones, and it's got a couple of little things over here as well. So, yeah, I really like these colors. Of course, the pink and the blue, you can't go wrong uh, with me anyway. So, we'll put that back there. And then this one right here is some more of the Polaroids from um, the old design shop. It's Shabby Aged Polaroid style photos, antique books. Look how awesome those are. Love those. 
but yeah, I just printed out a couple. I think it was like one sheet. But these will be super fun. Absolutely love those. Um, so yeah, so I printed out these digitals to play with. And, um, oh, well, we have these two long skinny journals. I just, I don't know. I need to do them. I want to do them. I just, maybe it's just because I don't know what to do with them. So as you can see here, I've like scrubbed, scrubbed up these pages and tried to age them a little bit. Wrinkled them up. That was already like that. I just did some distressing around the edges. Some of these Polaroids would look cute in here too. Um, just all kinds of different papers in that one. And this is the one that's actually printed on that uh, linen paper I got from Amazon. And then this right here was as far as I got. And that's one of the um, pieces of cardstock that I embossed with that script. And then here's one of the pink ones. So I got all the papers in it. And did some sewing. I think I may have showed you guys this one before. It's got uh, sand pool papers in it. Um, yeah, really pretty. I just, I'm not sure. What is going on with me? I gotta figure it out because... I wanted so badly to do those. And then, guys, I went ahead yesterday and finished them this morning. No, day before yesterday, something. I don't know. It's really all the crafting I've done in a day or so. I mean, I did a video or two. I'm not even sure. But this is for a, another Sweet Pea Journal. So I've gotten these um, painted and collaged front and back. And then... I don't know why I just put it down. I don't know what's wrong with me. I know there's a such thing as writer's block. Is there a such thing as a crafter's block? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. And then these I did just see Randy who was the original person. That's who Sheila at. Um, Boho Daydreams got the um, inspiration from for her beautiful Sweet Pea Journals. Uh, just saw her do one. These are five by three uh where randy actually left them this size instead of cutting them and in, instead of cutting them in half um so yeah i'm thinking that's what these are going to be that's why they're collaged long ways instead of sideways so eventually that's the type of sweet pea that this will be i just have to figure out my mojo problem i'm not sure but this is like 24 i think if i'm not mistaken um, so there's that and then I did do some dyeing so I had this white lace here and I actually dyed it a really pretty color of pink so I really do like how that turned out and then I also dyed some cheesecloth pink I really like how it turned out too I think it's a little bit darker than I actually wanted it to be but you know compared to that but you know different material you can use because these were both dyed in the exact same solution there was no difference um yeah how one turned out a lot darker than the other um so i did that oh let me guys let me show you this guys so um, you may see this video before the end of the other video, my Thrifty Thursday, because I'm like two weeks out on those, because I did go to the Peace Place. Well, when I got to filming the second part of that, so part two, I realized something was missing. So yesterday when I got off work, I took my receipt and went down there, and this is what was missing, and they had actually put it back on the shelf. Now, I was a bit irritated about that, that the Peace Place did that, because, you know, they knew I had paid for it, and they forgot to put it in my bag. Um, but yeah, so this is actually scented drawer liner sheets, and isn't that so pretty? I mean, I love the box. The box I'm going to use for storage, I'm sure. Um, but I paid four dollars for it. It's brand new, and it's got ten sheets in there, and each sheet size is 16 inches by 24 inches. But look at those prints. So pretty. Um, so yeah, so that's what was missing. So when, if you watch that video and you hear me say something about um, something being missing, then that's it. Okay guys, so another project 
that I want to do is I actually placed an order with um, Jennifer over at A Trace of Sparkle. And I got these um, dyed papers here, but they, they're done with a stencil. So she wrote me a sweet card here. So that will, of course, go in my correspondence journal. And look at this. This has gold on it. That's really pretty. And then stencil on that side. Um, and there was the other one. Look at that big old window in that one. That's going to be super fun. So these are pretty much exactly the same. So I'll just show you one. We got this pretty stuff here. Um, so let's see what we have in here. Oh, so this right here is like tracing paper with stencil. That's really cool. Then it looks like some graph paper. And that has gold in it too. So pretty. I haven't even went through these guys. Isn't that so pretty? Wow. Yep, love these. So these are going to be fun to put in some journals for sure. That's pretty. You know what that looks like? That wallpaper. Could be wallpaper, couldn't it? Oh, these are really pretty. Oh, I like that one. Isn't that so pretty? It's going to look so good in a journal. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. So, yeah, so I got two. I ordered two because you guys know I have to, you know. I don't like ordering just one of something because if I really, really like it, it's been my experience. I go back over there and they don't have any more. And then I'm all sad pants and I'm bad at hoarding anyway. So, yeah, so that that's those guys. Awesome. Jennifer at A Trace of Sparkle. Okay, so this envelope. Oh, it smells so good. You can smell the coffee. Oh, I love it. Love coffee anyway. Got to wear every day when I come home, guys. I have some coffee. This is the other pack again. Exactly the same. Um, I got two. So, I had saw... Um, maybe we should do this video as a Tea Tuesday. I don't have tea, but I have my Coke. And I did not put it in my um, uh, China this time. <laughs> Yes, we're going to make this a Tea Tuesday. How about that? So, at the end of the video, we decided to make it a Tea Tuesday, which is where we just chat and catch up. So, I will set this to post on Tuesday. Um, but, yeah, Trace of Sparkle. So, I had also saw, and Tea Tuesday is hosted by Kathy at Kathy's Favorite Things. There we go. Um, I'll leave her link in the description box below. I think I've only participated in there once. Um, see, I'm so out of it, guys. I didn't even think about that before I got started with the video. I'm just, yeah, really not sure what's going on. But, um, I had saw Anne at, um, Oldestina Scrap. I'm absolutely obsessed with her videos and the things that she makes. Um, so recently, in the last week, I guess, uh, she had posted where she used an envelope like this. And she folded it in half. Now she leaves this flap open, but I'm thinking with mine, I'm actually going to close it. And then she actually used guys' pillowcases. So when I was on my little thrifty haul, oh, look at there. Yeah, way, way too long, but we could cut a little bit off. But anyway, so she took actually, um, I did get quite a few. Um, pillowcases that's what she used to cover it with um, so she just put it over that like that and then went on her sewing machine and she like bunched it up on the edges and in different places but first she started out by putting some glue in the middle and creating little folds and bunchy uppy places you know is that that's something new It's bunchy uppy places um, folds and stuff in it and then sewed around the edges and they are so pretty and then for the outside and she did use a white envelope like this this size that she had coffee dyed um so i was thinking about using this one now i did go on amazon three o'clock this morning 
Don't tell anyone. Yes. 3 o'clock this morning on Amazon and actually ordered me some of these white ones because I had been to two different places and all they had was the, what is it, the manila colored um, in these and I wanted some of the white. But I was thinking this could work. Um, and then I could probably just leave. See, I could reverse the fold and fold it this way. So when you open it, this would be the inside cover because you don't necessarily have to cover that up. So I may do that. And we would fold this in half, close that up. This would be our front because I really like this. And that would be the inside. We may do that, guys. Um, and anyway, then on the outside of the cover, on the front, after bunching up her pillowcase and sewing it on there all she did was on the front cover she just took a safety pin which I should have safety pins around here somewhere um, she just took a safety pin and then picked out um, like dollies and appliques and you know some lace and different strips and pieces of different stuff and put them on that safety pin and then pinned it to the front and that and this was her design so that was her front cover absolutely beautiful um, and I'm sure that with this I could find some digitals that would work now this right here I guess maybe it's a table runner guys it's kind of big but I did just get this at the thrift store um, look at that it looks embossed so pretty um, yeah 50 cents guys oh yeah no, this one was a dollar. My bad. This was at a different thrift store. Um, this one was a dollar. But then I also got this. It is a pillowcase. And it's got the scalloped edge around it. And then it has these. Look at the middle. Look at how pretty that is. So, I'm trying to think about what I could do to use this. As my cover yeah we might could just bring it down and let this be yeah maybe so let like this be maybe the front or maybe we could cut it and this would be the front but yeah we could figure that out and I think I would leave it like the two ply like it is and we could bunch this up and then we would still have that scalloped edge going across there and here um so i think this would definitely work but this is one of the pillowcases 50 cents guys not a stain on it anywhere because they were having like a sale um on top of them being reasonably priced just ran over that with my chair um so yeah i really really want to do one of those i've been watching her video like you know two or three times and then I you know I was trying to figure everything out for it and then I didn't have any I've been a hot mess then I didn't have any um, white or cream thread like on a regular spool like this and then I think I either told you in a very recent video or a video coming up who knows I don't know which um, I have never bought anything like thread um except for some black ones this on the spools like these that you use for your sewing machine this is vintage by the way um because i've used all of my vintage ones and that's what i've been using but i didn't think i had any cream color or white but i had the really big spools which doesn't work with my sewing machine um so i bought one of the stands for the big s spools but i guess i don't know how to position it or how to do it but i can't get it to work it's a vintage one i can't get it to work with my sewing machine the thread keeps breaking so i don't know what i'm doing wrong i'm either doing something wrong or i don't know um <laughs> yeah i don't know um but yeah so i decided to actually search it on youtube and i found several different ways that i could get them from the big spool to this by using the little thing that you use to or your bobbin your little thread bobbin um so i'm thinking i'm going to try that tomorrow however um when i figured that out i went in my master closet and pulled out some more um 
of the big spools of the cream and the white. Uh, and down in there, I actually found this one and a couple of other ones that was in the white. So I'm sure I have enough to go ahead and do one of these covers or two. I have two envelopes. Um, but guys, when I went to Amazon, I don't know if it was because I was sleeping this morning at 3 o'clock when I did it or what but i have never paid amazon shipping i make sure and i'm not a prime men member i just make sure that i have um the 25 dollars or more for the free shipping and seven miles down the road is an actual amazon distribution center so when i order i get it super cheap anyway so i don't have to pay for rush shipping because uh, I'm not waiting as long as other people normally do. Because they'll give you the estimated delivery day. And then mine always comes two or three days early. Um, guys, I paid $9.99 for them to ship it tomorrow. <laughs> There's definitely something wrong with me. But yeah, it was these envelopes. these This same size, which I think is like a 12 by 9 um, and it was $20.98 for these, and you get 100 So, I mean, still, even at 30 bucks, I'm set for a while if I'm getting 100 You know how long it take me to do 100 journals? Oh, my word. All right, guys, I think I'm going to stop rambling. I just wanted to share with you what was going on with me and what I was messing around with and that, you know, I've got a creative block or I've lost my mojo or something's going on. I have no idea. I am so hoping that um it returns in the morning because it's monday and i'm off that would have been yesterday when you see this video um uh but yeah so this has been a hashtag tea tuesday yeah that happened last minute and it is hosted by kathy at kathy's favorite things and all you really do is have a cup of tea or drink of your choice hence coke i know i didn't stick with the water mm. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, yeah, so Tea Tuesday, where you just have something to drink and, um, you know, catch up or really do whatever you want to do for Tea Tuesday. But that is hosted by Kathy at Kathy's Favorite Things. And I will make sure to leave a link to her YouTube channel in the description box below. All right, guys. Y'all just pray for me that my mojo came back yesterday. I love you guys so much. Thank you all so much for your support. I'm almost at 1,500, so I am dancing around with the idea of doing a 1,500 subscriber giveaway. Um, I think I will, but I think it's going to be... It will be like after I reach 1,500 subscribers, and it will be a complete... Uh, surprise last minute thing it's not going to be anything that I announce ahead of time uh, it's not going to be um, you know a comment on this video and you'll be entered to win I think what I'll do is when I reach 1500 subscribers is I will let's see guys what can we do um, I'm thinking I will write down what am I going to write down I am going to write down 10. I'm going to write down. Okay, let me write this down. Because you, you guys know I'll forget. Let me write this down. Okay. So, I will... Okay, 1,500. Subby giveaway. It's going to be a surprise giveaway. Okay? And what I'm going to do is after... I reach 1,500, and I'm almost there, guys. Getting pretty close. After I reach 1,500 subbies, <coughs> excuse me, I will pick 10 recent videos at random. Okay. <coughs> and from those 10 videos, I will pick one so from 10 I will pick one video and on that video everyone who has commented and liked is who's going to be entered into the giveaway we're going to use that video to do the random um, comment picker who's commented will be entered all right guys there we go 1500 
100 subby giveaway surprise giveaway yep it will be uh, sometime within I'm gonna say within two weeks of me reaching 1500 subscribers and let me see where I am right now I am let me turn my volume down guys just in case I hit play on someone else's video plus I have it hooked to my YouTube I'm at 1444 right now as of today um, if you can see that can you see it let's get closer terrible that I don't focus 1444 but I promise you it is 1444 um, today so as soon as I reach 1500 within two weeks when I reach 1500 I will then pick 10 uh, recent videos and then I'll pick one video from those 10 and that will be the a giveaway video that I do the random comment generator picker namer thingy on um, so everybody who's commented on that will win so start commenting on my videos hit that like button that's all you have to do to be subscribed um, I will leave it open international it will be open to everyone um, I have no idea what I'm going to give away odds are it's going to be some of my ephemera I'll probably make some things I may make a shabby shiki something I'm not sure what we're going to give away maybe the maybe that'll be a surprise too you won't know unless you win when it shows up on your doorstep maybe we could do it that way but yes that's what we're going to do so I'd really appreciate it if you would all give me a thumbs up silly goose what are you laughing at if you would give me a thumbs up, leave me a super quick comment. Again, start commenting on my videos. Um, share my channel. Have your friends come on over and subscribe. Um, because, yeah, once we hit that 1500 mark, we'll have a giveaway. Surprise giveaway. Possibly a surprise giveaway in more ways than one. All right. I love you guys. Thank you all so much for your support. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Happy Tea Tuesday.